running Never did much good Hiding Doesn't last forever You can't run faster when it's you You're running from So you throw your hands up like doves To the setting sun Somewhere down the stars are falling Like jewels upon a thin black veil You'll find the mysteries enthralling Five seconds seems like Five billion years Ten thousand galaxies away Yet still so near Welcome to Karen Holton's podcast. Karen permanently lost 178 pounds and found happiness and success by following her own advice. She has now developed that advice into the quantum health transformation. Heal, evolve, and thrive. Karen's website offers a free webinar workshop series, and you'll also find tools, methods, and practices to assist you to become the change you want to see in the world. She believes that we are all connected. Heal the planet by healing yourself. Connect with Karen at her website, KarenHoltonHealthCoach.com, and through Facebook at Facebook.com slash Quantum Health Transformation. Now for the podcast. Quantum Health Transformation 2.0, Step 6 Yellow, Detoxify and the Power of Emotion Primer. Part 2, Internal Detoxification. Welcome. Please note, this primer is meant to accompany the corresponding live recorded video. Both primer and live Quantum Health Transformation 2.0 videos will be presented in descending number order. Start your learning process with Step 9, then proceed to Step 8, and so forth. Learn Step 1 last. This will help you to bypass some of your linear programming. All information presented in any Quantum Health Transformation media is taken from the Living Library, also known as the Akashic Records, and from my personal life experience and training. I am not an expert, a mathematician, or a scientist. I am a seeker of knowledge and wisdom. This system of quantum health transformation works well for me. However, you must synthesize this information and take only that which serves you. At the very least, it is my hope that you will be stimulated to seek your own inner wisdom. Note, any part of the Quantum Health Transformation Original or 2.0 series can be copied and shared under the Fair Use Clause, as long as credit is given to myself, Karen Holton, my company, Vancouver Island Alternative Lifestyle Services, also known as VIALS, and Quantum Health Transformation. Thank you. For legal reasons, I have included this disclaimer. Please read it before you continue. There are three parts to detoxification. External detoxification, which was covered in the last primer, internal detoxification, which we will address here today, and emotional detoxification and the power of emotions, which is the next primer. Each part is comprehensive and deserves its own primer. Preview all three primer videos for Step 6. Part 2. Internal Detoxification Now that you know how to stop poisoning yourself externally, it is time to stop poisoning yourself internally. Everything you put in your mouth is also absorbed into your physical system. Before introducing you to some healthful practices, I must warn you about the poisons you might be inadvertently ingesting. If you apply chemicals to your body, you will become sick and very likely obese. And the same is true if you ingest processed foods. 
You could develop fat tissue in order to isolate and deal with these food derivatives that are toxic to your body and mind. Real food grows naturally when organic and wild. Generally, it will not have a product label. Once these foods have been processed, they are dead. And although they may carry some nutritional elements, they upset our delicate physiological balance. More on the subject in Quantum Health Transformation, Step 5. Suffice to say, each piece of fruit, vegetable, nut, and seed is a perfect pre-packaged delivery system with the nutrients we need in order to enjoy health and sanity. Obesity research is done in a lab on fat mice. Since mice are not normally fat, the extra body weight is induced by feeding them food-like products which contain MSG. Google MSG obesity induced mice and see for yourself. Any synthetic additive used to preserve food and prolong shelf life is toxic, and the same is true about chemicals which are isolated from their natural source. Do some research, and I urge you to watch the movie called Hungry for Change. It exposes the shocking secrets the diet, weight loss, and food industry don't want you to know about and the deceptive strategies designed to keep you coming back for more. Here are some other very informative documentaries. Food Matters, What's With Wheat, and That Sugar Film. All may be available on Netflix, and certainly online. Find out what's keeping you from having the body and health you deserve, and how to escape the diet trap forever. My personal experience proves the information found in the movie called Hungry for Change is true. Food-like products cause illness and obesity because they contain sugar, a drug that affects the brain like cocaine and is highly addictive. Food-like products also contain harmful fats like hydrogenated fats, cottonseed, canola, corn and soy oils and chemicals like MSG to keep you addicted so you keep buying the products over and over again. Food-like products lack nutrition and cause cellular hunger. This leads to obesity and nutrient deficiency as people become overfed while starving to death at the same time. The obesity crisis is due to food-like products which contain chemicals that lie to us. Real foods, by contrast, boost the immune system, increase longevity, and are our natural way of eating. What we eat, drink, and think has a direct effect on our health. So why do we eat food-like products? because they are artificially created to smell better, taste better, and have a longer shelf life. This combination maximizes the profit for the producer, but causes decreased energy, cognitive fog, anxiety, and illness for the consumer. To address your own level of addiction to food-like products, I challenge you to try eating only unprocessed real foods for one week to see if you experience chemical sweetener withdrawal symptoms. And by the way, the level of discomfort that you experience while withdrawing from chemicals and sweeteners in your food are a direct indicator on how addicted you actually have become. How do food-like products cause addiction? They contain chemical derivatives and refined isolated elements like sugar and other refined products which become chemicals of addiction once digested. Everything processed from frozen ice to peanut butter is engineered to become addictive in order to maximize profits. Chemical derivatives like MSG and free glutamates enhance the flavor in 80% of all processed foods. 
MSG and other chemical additives excite the brain and trigger the body to produce fat. The truth about sugar and sweeteners, well, soda pop and sweets will chemically cause you to initially feel happy, but when the effect wears off, will leave you feeling empty because your body was expecting nutrients. So you eat another candy or piece of pie or drink another can of pop. What initially satisfies soon needs repeating and you are now being manipulated by a marketing ploy. When a beverage or food-like product contains the deadly combination of artificial sweetener and caffeine, it creates a very unique form of excitotoxin, which kills off brain cells, but gets them very excited first. You feel the effect of the brain excitement, but you are not aware of the brain cell death. Artificial sweetener is in almost everything processed that you consume, from frozen ice to meal replacement beverages. It is known to lead to cognitive problems, seizures, headaches, some cancers, weight gain, and carbohydrate cravings. These products are attractive because they are lower in calories, but this is a brilliant marketing ploy to keep you consuming. Food additives are engineered to addict you and for longer shelf life. The food companies realize that MSG, processed sugars, and artificial sweeteners are highly addictive. They learned this motto from the tobacco industry. If you addict a customer, you have product loyalty for life. Instead of nicotine, they use MSG, refined sugars like high fructose corn syrup, and artificial sweeteners that make us want it again and again and again. The cocaine-like effects of refined sugar and flour, which are food-like substances, kill more people than all drugs on earth combined. Science has produced over 75,000 synthetic chemicals since 1940. Know the nature of the trap. Watch the documentary called Hungry for change. Names of ingredients that always contain processed free glutamic acid or MSG. Glutamic acid. Glutamate monosodium glutamate. Monopotassium glutamate. Calcium glutamate. Monoammonium glutamate. Magnesium glutamate. Natrium glutamate, yeast extract, anything hydrolyzed, any hydrolyzed protein, calcium caseinate, sodium caseinate, yeast food, yeast nutrient, autolyzed yeast, gelatin, textured protein, soy protein, soy protein concentrate, soy protein isolate, whey protein, whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate, anything labeled protein, Vetsin, Ajinomoto. Now that you know how to stop poisoning yourself, let's get back to detoxification. Detoxifying means to remove harmful chemicals and toxins from the body. Since our physical environment, and most of our food supply, is toxic, I believe that detoxifying is a fundamental component to a healthy lifestyle, and not just something that we do once in a while. Detoxification not only rids the body of harmful substances, it also improves the function of the liver, kidneys, intestinal tract, and skin, all the elimination organs. It is an essential daily practice for people who are under stress, feel tired all the time, have low immunity to illness, allergies, headaches, dry itchy skin, increased mucus production, and poor concentration. I wonder how much of what we consider to be signs of aging is actually caused by a lifetime buildup of toxins. Detoxification could easily 
be part of everyone's healthy lifestyle. Let's face it, we live in a toxic world. Every day we are inundated with harmful chemicals in our diet, lifestyle, the environment around us, as well as our own metabolism and the pharmaceutical medications we take. People consume food additives, colorings, flavorings, preservatives, waxes, and agrochemicals, which include fertilizers, growth enhancers, pesticide and herbicide residues. According to the U.S. EPA, 60% of all herbicides, 30% of all insecticides, and 90% of all fungicides cause cancer. Over 10,000 artificial chemicals are added to preserve food and give it longer shelf life. People are also exposed to atmospheric pollutants like chlorofluorocarbons, acid rain, industrial gases, exhaust fumes, and toxic metals like lead, aluminum, cadmium, and mercury. Detoxification is essential because it allows the body to naturally neutralize toxins and prepare them for elimination from the body through the liver, kidneys, bowels, lungs, and sweat glands. Although fasting has traditionally been part of detoxification, I do not recommend this or any quick intensive detox program. After a lifetime of toxic accumulation, one could become very ill feeling as a result. All the toxic waste must be coaxed out of the tissues and circulate to the detoxifying organs before removal from the body. When a detox regime is incorporated into a lifestyle permanently, the cleansing is less severe and continuous, allowing us to adjust and to cope with any negative side effects. Sometimes these side effects are called a healing crisis. A detoxification plan. First thing in the morning, I drink a liter or more of filtered water. If you add fruit or vegetables to the water, this increases the detoxifying effect and helps to alkalize your body. There will be more on pH and quantum health transformation step 5, upcoming. I also consume some or all of the following foods, which will give you a good start to your detox program with minimal discomfort. To pull toxins out of my system, I start every day with raw sea vegetables, also known as seaweeds. I do not find seaweed in the natural state of peeling, so I buy it dried and ground up. I add a heaping teaspoon of whatever type I can find, usually kelp, dulse, bladder rack, and or Irish moss, to about one cup of filtered water. I stir and I let it sit for about 15 minutes so that it gels slightly and is no longer gritty. Then I drink it. It has a very mild flavor. Sushi seaweed sheets are usually not suitable as they have been cooked and are no longer raw. Seaweed contains iodine, which controls metabolism, alginate, which absorbs radioactive elements, heavy metals and free radicals, fusoidin, which causes certain types of rapid-growing cancer cells to self-destruct, and are polysaccharides, which prevent and treat cardiovascular diseases. They also boost the immune system, help to decrease high blood sugar and cholesterol levels, improve the function of the gastrointestinal tract, and improve the structure of hair and nails. Then I stir one teaspoon each of spirulina and chlorella into a full glass of water. I let this sit for about 15 minutes. I stir it again and then I drink it. It also has a very mild flavor. Here's some information about spirulina and chlorella that I found at the website www.detoxyourworld.com Chlorella Chlorella is a green unicellular freshwater algae that is rich in protein, vitamins, including vitamin B12, minerals, especially iron, amino and nucleic acids. 
Chlorella algae have high chlorophyll content that helps cleanse our blood and tissue, making it particularly useful for detoxification. Chlorella also contains an extremely strong concentration of alpha, beta, and gamma PPARs, which are known to regulate our metabolism, strengthen our immune system, and promote general all-round good health. The large quantities of DNA and RNA nucleic acids found in chlorella can actively help delay our body's aging process. Chlorella can be purchased in either tablet or powder form. The powder can be stirred into all of your favorite smoothies, shakes, and green juices to provide a powerful boost of nutrients. Spirulina. Spirulina is a blue-green unicellular freshwater algae packed with fiber, protein, vitamins, including vitamins A, B1, B2, B6, and K, essential minerals, including iron, calcium, and magnesium, trace minerals, essential fatty acids, nucleic acids, both RNA and DNA, polysaccharides, and antioxidants. The Aztecs reputedly supplied spirulina to their warriors to increase strength and endurance, and it is perhaps best known for its potential immune-boosting properties. Spirulina also contains ingredients that help combat free radicals and prevent our cells from aging. Beta-carotene, vitamin E, gamma, linoleic acid, or GLA, and superoxide dismutase, or SOD. Low in calories and a complete source of protein, spirulina has recently been linked to demonstrable weight loss. Chlorella and spirulina are both unicellular freshwater algae, but here are some of the key differences. Chlorella is a green algae, which means that it typically boasts around 10 times more chlorophyll than spirulina and makes it better for detoxification purposes. Chlorella contains more iron than spirulina. Chlorella contains a special growth factor which can help repair damage to nerve tissue and is ideal for those with degenerative brain and nerve disorders. Chlorella features a true nucleus unlike spirulina. Spirulina is a blue-green algae that is thousands of years older than chlorella. Spirulina contains more protein than chlorella. On average, spirulina contains 12 times more protein than beef. Spirulina is a better source of GLA or gamma linoleic acid, a good fat that is essential for healthy brain and heart function. Spirulina contains higher concentrations of phycocyanin, a phytochemical that can help prevent cancer and gives spirulina its special blue tint. Chia seeds. Try eating two tablespoons of chia seeds every day. I add them to 12 ounces of almond milk and stir while they plump out. Then I let them sit for at least an hour to completely soften before I drink them up. They have no flavor, but they take on the flavor of whatever you add them to. Add them to chocolate milk to make pudding, or add them to fruit juice to create your own jams and jellies. These tiny superfood seeds are a great source of healthy omega-3 fats and fiber, and it's very easy to add them to your diet. Just add two tablespoons to a glass of juice, milk, or smoothie. Stir regularly and allow it time to thicken before eating it. The positive health effects from eating chia seeds include more energy, stable blood sugar, comfortable digestion, and lower cholesterol. There are 10 reasons to add chia seeds to your diet. Combat diabetes. Chia is being studied as a potential natural treatment for type 2 diabetes because of its ability to slow down digestion. The gelatinous coating chia seeds develop when exposed to liquids can also prevent blood sugar spikes. Get more fiber. A one ounce or 28 gram serving of chia 
has 11 grams of dietary fiber, about a third of the recommended daily intake for adults. Adding some chia to your diet is an easy way to make sure you're getting a good amount of fiber, which is important for digestive health. Stock up on omega-3. Chia seeds are packed with omega-3 fatty acids with nearly 5 grams in a 1-ounce serving. These fats are important for brain health. There is a better conversion of omega-3s into the plasma or into the food than with flax seeds, said researcher Wayne Coates. Stronger teeth than bones. A serving of chia seeds has 18% of the recommended daily intake for calcium, which puts you well on your way to maintaining bones and oral health and preventing osteoporosis. Don't forget manganese. Manganese isn't a well-known nutrient, but it's important for our health. It's good for your bones and helps your body to use other essential nutrients like biotin and thiamine. 28 grams has 30% of your recommended intake of manganese. Plenty of phosphorus. With 27% of your daily value for phosphorus, chia seeds also help you maintain healthy bones and teeth. Phosphorus is also used by the body to synthesize protein for cell and tissue growth and repair. Pack in the protein. Chia seeds also make a great source of protein and don't have any cholesterol. One 28 gram serving of these super seeds has 4.4 grams of protein, nearly 10% of the daily value. Fight belly fat. Chia's stabilizing effect on blood sugar also fights insulin resistance, which can be tied to an increase in belly fat. Get full faster. Tryptophan, an amino acid found in turkey, is also found in chia seeds. While tryptophan is responsible for that strong urge to nap after a big Thanksgiving dinner, it also helps regulate appetite, sleep, and improve mood. Improve heart health. According to the Cleveland Clinic, chia seeds have been shown to improve blood pressure in diabetics and may also increase healthy cholesterol while lowering total LDL and triglyceride cholesterol. All good news for your heart. Another important part of detoxification is to maintain adequate gut flora. Gut flora is a complex combination of microorganism species that live in the digestive tract of animals. It gleans energy from the fermentation of undigested carbohydrates and absorption of short-chain fatty acids. Intestinal bacteria also play a role in synthesizing vitamin B and vitamin K, as well as metabolizing bile acids, sterols, drugs such as antibiotics and pollutants. According to Wikipedia, the human body carries about a hundred trillion microorganisms in its intestines, a number ten times greater than the total number of human cells in the body. Between 300 and 1,000 different species live in the gut. However, about 99 percent of the bacteria come from about 30 or 40 species these include fungi, protozoa, and archaea, also make up a part of the gut flora. Research suggests that the relationship between gut flora and healthy humans is a symbiotic relationship. Gut bacteria aids in digestion, stimulating cell growth, repressing the growth of harmful microorganisms, training the immune system to respond only to pathogens, and defending against some diseases, and gut flora helps prevent flatulence. Gut flora helps the body to absorb essential dietary minerals such as calcium, magnesium, and iron. Gases and organic acids such as lactic acid are also produced by fermentation. Acetic acid is used by muscle. Propionic acid helps the liver produce ATP and butric acid provides energy to gut cells and may prevent cancer. Beneficial flora increase the gut's absorption of water, reduce counts of damaging bacteria, 
increase growth of human gut cells and stimulate growth of indigenous bacteria. It even prevents species that would harm the host from colonizing the gut through an activity termed the barrier effect. Harmful yeasts and bacterial species are unable to grow excessively due to competition from healthful, helpful gut flora species adhering to the mucosal lining of the intestine. Thus, people without gut flora are infected very easily. The process of fermentation, since it produces lactic acid and different fatty acids, also serves to lower the pH in the colon, preventing the proliferation of harmful species of bacteria and facilitating that of helpful species. This pH may also enhance the excretion of carcinogens. Gut flora have a continuous and dynamic effect on the host's gut and systemic immune systems. To maintain my gut flora, I take New Roots Acidophilus Ultra. Probiotics play a major role in building the immune system. They keep our intestines clean, combat candida yeast infections, regulate constipation or diarrhea, and increase the bioavailability of essential nutrients to form superior quality blood and overall health. Please note that I am in no way paid for any product endorsement. You may wish to take probiotics. They are especially essential after antibiotic treatment. Probiotics replenish the immune regulating intestinal flora that antibiotics destroy. New Roots Acidophilus Ultra combines 11 effective strains that are synergistic to each other and deliver benefits at different important sites along the intestinal tract. Acidophilus Ultra is well tolerated with lactose sensitivity and contains only 2 micrograms of lactose per capsule. You may also wish to eat live raw sauerkraut. It is loaded with beneficial bacteria and probiotics to help replenish gut flora. It also provides many important enzymes needed for complete digestion. Conclusion to Quantum Health Transformation Step 6 Part 2 Now that you know how to stop poisoning yourself internally and you have all the information you need to detoxify your body, it is time to move on to Quantum Health Transformation Step 6, Yellow, Detoxify and the Power of Emotion Primer. Part 3, Emotional Detoxification and the Power of Emotion. This concludes the Step 6, Part 2 Primer. Please feel free to contact me for more information and for assistance with your Ascension or Lifestyle Program. I am grateful for all the forces and beings that assist me with the production of this nine-step online course. This online course is free. If you would like to support my work, please purchase some of my beautiful Zen Dome Orgon Generators. You can view them at my website www.karenholtonhealthcoach.com. I am grateful to my Universal Starseed community. I am grateful for my brother James Tracy, who made the first Zen Domes Organite. It is now time to consider Quantum Health Transformation Step 6 Yellow, Detoxify and the Power of Emotion Primer, Part 3, Emotional Detoxification and the Power of Emotion. You can contact me through my website, www.karenholtonhealthcoach.com. That's K-A-R-E-N-H-O-L-T-O-N healthcoach.com or simply email me at viles at shaw.ca. Join me on my website to see the other Step 6 videos. HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.karenholtonhealthcoach.com backslash videos backslash step dash 6 backslash.
crying only makes you hurt Denying only makes it worse Love and surrender seem the fastest way To bring an end to bitter painful days Somewhere down the stars are falling upon a thin black veil And you will thrill to hear your calling Five seconds seems like Five billion years Ten thousand galaxies away Yet still so near 